you can still go I never answered a no, man, I still go Go, go And good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. Um, so, I say ACAB quite often, and that's not very popular with some people, but it is what it is. Uh, ACAB meaning all cops are bastards. Now, rarely will you ever hear me say anything positive about the police or uh, supporting them in any way, shape, or form, because <laughs> all cops are bastards. But I am a person who is a human being, and I believe uh, wholeheartedly in human rights and that everyone has the right to live and uh, be happy. So I'll say this. The LAPD <laughs> is the worst. If not, New York is pretty bad, but the LAPD is pretty bad. So they killed one of their own fellow officers, uh, a Mr. Tipping. Houston Tipping is his name. He's 32 years old. He was a young police officer and he went to some training with the LAPD. And being an LAPD officer, you know you're going to have friends, buddies, people joke around or whatever. That's fine. People horseplay. Hey, great still. We all pretty much have done that. But this guy, when he went to his training, he ended up dead. And the training was only supposed to be for simulation of a mob attacking the police. You know, riot training. And what happened was, apparently he ended up with uh, multiple fractures in his skull, um, damage to multiple vertebra. He ended up a quadriplegic and then died from his injuries. And the LAPD said that it is, and I quote, it was a training accident. So, if anybody's ever fought before, I've fought before. And you know what it's like to get punched or kicked or someone hits you with an object or something. When it hurts, you say, whoa, okay, that's I've had enough. Or if you're just horse playing and someone hurts you, you've had enough. If you're training in the military, we do a lot of combative trainings. If someone's hurting you, okay, that's enough. You're going to say something that hey, you're hurting me, or this is uncomfortable, I'm not cool with this, can you stop? I'm pretty sure, I'm over 100% sure that at some point, this gentleman said, hey, you're hurting me, what the F, can you stop? I, I'm almost 100% certain that those words, probably probably not word for word, but something to that effect came out of this man's mouth before they beat him to death. That you're fucking hurting me. So, uh, I don't know who beat him to death. Because, of course, you know, with cops, they investigate themselves, which they're going to do. And they'll find that they've done nothing wrong, that it was a training accident. And they'll cover for the police officers who murdered him. Because it was murder. If you beat someone to death, it's definitely murder. I'm sure he didn't just sit there and say, yeah, just keep whooping my ass. You know, because training, that didn't happen. They beat this man to death. I'm never for anyone dying for any reason except natural causes. Y yeah, I don't like cops. <laughs> and I have good reason not to like police. But no one deserves to be beaten to death for any reason. Now, I'll give you the reasons why they probably beat him to death. So here goes the reasons why they beat him to death. And these are just my reasons why I think they did it. So this is not gospel. It's not written in stone anywhere. No one told me to say this. This is just me. I think they beat him to death. And here's my scenarios. They beat him to death because either they were just assholes and thought that, hey, he's joking. So we're just going to beat on him because, you know, obviously us beating him literally to death is not a problem. He's just faking it because, you know, all suspects, when their cops are beating them and paralyzing them and killing them, they're just they're overreacting. So yeah, I could see that happening. That's that's scenario one. They just didn't realize that they were killing him. Really, the other scenario is that this man probably knew something, something bad about the people who beat him to death, or someone else higher up. Or part of the clan that they have in the cop, uh, as far as cops are concerned, and their little cliques. And uh, 
well, gang, sorry, cops or gang, and they beat him to death because they may have thought he was going to say something to implicate someone, so they beat him to death because of it. Now, I know that could be far-fetched, but I very seriously doubt it because the LAPD has a major history of doing really shitty, horrible things to people because they wanted to keep them quiet. So do you honestly think that this man let them beat him to death, turn him into a quadriplegic, give him all these skull fractures and fractured vertebra, and he didn't say anything? Mm. Why would they do that? Why would they just beat this man to death and try to cover it up as training exercise what did he know if he knew anything what did he do if he did anything that made them want to do this to him now i know conspiracy theory i get but something you know when something stinks it just stinks but beating someone to death just for fun with a bunch of other people standing around watching i just don't you know I don't see a bunch of other cops standing around watching other cops beat another cop to death while that cop is yelling and or screaming or resisting saying, hey, can you please stop killing me and paralyzing me uh, and just stand there and go, oh, well, this is normal. I mean, yeah, they do that to us regular folks, but to their own, he must have pissed someone off really bad in order for them to want to have him dead. That's just me. You guys can make up whatever you want. Doesn't matter. Because once again, the LAP is gonna, LAPD is going to investigate themselves. And of course, they'll find that they've done nothing wrong. But I seriously think that, seriously, that this guy may have known something or had some run-in with somebody who did not want him to continue to breathe. Or at least to try to send him a message. Well, I think the message was given a little bit too vigorously. And he paid the price for it. But let me know what you think. Uh, in the description, just leave me a comment saying what you think. You can tell me I'm crazy. I don't know what I'm talking about. Yes, no, maybe. Tell me what you think might be going on. But I seriously think that this guy knew something or someone did not like him to murder him in front of a bunch of other cops and him... To not say anything while they're beating him to death just doesn't sound right to me. It's something's wrong. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, have a great day. Please stay safe out there. And uh, by all means, don't forget to be the best heathens that you can be. And have a great day.